What is going on guys, it is Aim to Shame and we have a squad builder again, a Liga Portuguesa one here, cost around about 8.4k, you can get it for around about 8k that's for sure, especially if you shop around. Starting off with our keeper here, we have Helton, 82 rated, plays for Porto as does many of these players, also a Brazilian player, 85 reflexes, that's what you want to look at, 1.5k, the main thing that sold it to me was that goalkeeper long throw trait, because I'm playing wingers in this formation, it was perfect for getting it out to the left and right winger. At left back, we have Sandro there, only rated 75, 600 coins, can't go wrong for those stats, 80 pace, that's, you know, it's average stat really, and overall that 78 dribbling means he can push forward quite easily, and 75 defending, it's just an average stat for a goal at left back, so he does a job, but you know, he could be better, I will admit, but he will do the job for you. Centre back next to him, we have the French Mangala, that 79 pace is phenomenal there, the 600 coins, that's definitely a budget player, that's for sure, 77 defence as well as 80 heading, that's an absolute bonus, this centre back has the pace and has the power to win lots of tackles. Next to him we have his partner who is also Peru and he's actually Rodriguez, 400 coins for him, not the best pace but 68 pace, it's nothing to be uh, ashamed of with a centre back, so with a 79 defending and 79 heading, sold it to me, he is injury prone but that does not really matter because for me like, you don't really get injuries unless you do offline and hardly anyone I know does it offline. Right back we've got Danilo there, the 700 coins Brazilian right back. Brazil have so many good right backs but this is the best one in the Liga Portuguesa in my opinion. The 86 pace and 80 dribbling, that sells it for me. There's also an informed version of him but I just went for that one because of course it's a budget squad. Now we move on to our first right centre mid, rated 81, we have Gonzalez. The leader, finesse and the playmaker traits mean he's a perfect centre mid for attacking and also just holding it with the ball. He has the uh, 84 passing, which is exactly what I was looking for. And the 80 shot was an absolute bonus in this game. Moving on to the centre of the pitch here, we have the 84 rated Jao Moutinho, who is absolutely amazing in this game. He was only 1k, but that injury free is always good, even though like most people don't do offline, it's still good to have. The playmaker trait is what kind of won it for me though. He's the centre of the attention of the whole attacks in, in these games. As you see, he's always got the ball and he's always getting the right pass off. Next to him we have Elias, the cheap version of Ramirez as people like to say, 1k, has no traits but it does not matter, look at his stats, they're very consistent around the high 70s or the low 70 mark, so overall he's a player that can do basically anything on this game, so I was very happy with his performance, one of the best players of this squad. Moving on to our left winger here, we have the 80 rated Sport and Lisbon Kapow, 4 star skill moves as well which is what sold it to me, as well as a diving speed dribbler trait, 88 pace and 85 dribbling, you can tell what kind of player he is from those stats, he's a very sweaty player, but he's got the skill moves to cut inside as well and he's, he's literally got everything you need to do those sweaty goals. At the striker we have the non-rare Rodrigo, who is absolutely amazing as well, for 800 coins cannot go wrong, 85 pace is a great start, 4 star skill moves as well, and he also tries to beat the defensive line and has the flair trait, I was very happy with his performance, and as you can see he scores a lot of goals for me. Next to him at right winger we have the best player in this squad in my opinion, we have the player who is Moroccan and he goes by the name of Labiad. And uh, the reason why I like him so much is because he's 400 coins and he has 5 star weak foot with 4 star skill moves. I know PS3 fans aren't a fan of him at all but I do know he's a very strong player and the long shot trait also means he can score some great long range strikes. First off, you can see that's the kind of goals I'm scoring all the time with Rodrigo. And the thing is about this team, it's hard to show you the best goals because they're not a team that scores really nice goals. They're just a team that wins matches. So if that's what you're into, winning cups and winning matches, this 8.4k squad will do the job for you just fine. And like I said, Labiad, which I'm sure I'm saying that name wrong, is a great player because that five-star week for it means it doesn't matter where he is, he's just going to have a good chance of getting a decent shot away. Also Rodrigo, like I said, shots like this have come off with ease with him, so although he hasn't got the best shot start, he seems to play really well on this game. So as you see, we're moving on to the last three goals here, Labiad gets a lot of goals for me. And also playing in the rain is a great thing to do with this squad, mainly because, you know, they've got quick players, quick feet, it means that they can get a lot of shots away. We're currently winning a lot of these games as well guys, instead of doing a tournament, the reason why I can't do it is because EA has not processed a result every time I win a game, which is why my record is so bad on this account, but oh well, you can't you got, can't really do much at the moment, I just got to live with it. But you see, the reason why I showed that goal is just to show you that Rodrigo has great positioning as well, always gets in a sweaty position, so that's why I can't really show you a lot of goals, because this team is best for getting sweaty goals, I'll be honest, so they're best for winning matches really, but in general, this team is just a team that will win you games, but once 
once again, like every squad, there is a downside, and that's probably the actual defence again, mainly because the defences aren't really that strong. The centre-backs seem to have good st like good starts and that, however, you know, those 50-50 challenges, they always seem to lose out on, which is just not really good enough for me. Also, the right-back, we have Danilo. He has good starts, but he just seemed to be, like, but he just didn't seem to show up in any of my games. I didn't even know he was on the pitch. However, I'm sure if I used him a bit more better, I could use him fine. It's all like kind of personal preference, really. And for me, the main player that stood out was Labiad there. As you see, he scores a lot of goals. And for 400 coins, it's literally just amazing on FIFA. I just see one of the last few goals there, Diego Capals, getting his name on the score sheet as well. He's another player that has a low shooting stat but scores a lot of goals. There you are, that was our last goal. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this squad builder. Thanks for watching, the shame there, but link to my Twitter in the description below.